going on? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Attacker Productions. Today I got Nick with us. Hey. And as we are going over his Beerus deck, um, I built it. I forgot to put it on the channel. Oh well. So Nick had it on him. I, well, I kind of asked him to play it, and he said okay. I took one for the team, guys. Well, I mean, it's Beerus. Uh, with that being said, there's buttons down below. Feel free to click there for a reason. But let's get into today's um, profile. All right. Start with the leader. Um, start at four life. Um, not great. <laughs> um, you usually have to be super defensive just because your life is so low. Um, but it has an activate main. You'll switch the card to rest mode. You'll draw a card. Then you'll play a universe seven card with uh, energy cost of two or less um, and play it. So this will help get your engine going um, to play your battle cards and then awaken. When your life is at three or less, you draw two, untap one, flip the life over. And one of the good things about it is a 15k leader, so you do have a little bit of defense on awakened. Um, but you want to get awakened as soon as possible just because you get more defects. Um, so we have the awakened leader. It's 20k power now, so you have a little more defense when you're um, in the later turns of the game, which is nice. Um, and then auto, uh, when this card attacks, you'll draw a card, and then you'll play it, Universe 7, so you always have recursion if you have the cards in hand, um, so really easy to get your battle cards back on board. Um, and then um, auto for spirit boost 1, um, once per turn, when your one of your battle cards attacks and KOs a battle card, um, your opponent will pitch a card, so you want to have a unison on board to get that effect off, um, and with this, I tried to keep the, I tried to make the deck a little more hand control, um, but we'll start with the engine. Um, first thing, um, we'll start with the planet, um, necessary for the deck, um, it's one of the main engines cards. Um, the way it works is um, it's barrier so it's not really going anywhere. Um, at the end of a battle when one of your green battle cards um, when you're one of your green battle cards KOs a battle card, um, you can take the card and put it under the planet. Um, it has an auto for more defensive pieces. Um, you will switch this to rest mode, and then you can change the attacking change the attack to one of your um, universe battle cards in rest mode. So kind of like a mini blocker, um, stops a turn. Um, get some of your effects off too. And then activate main if there are five cards under this card, you win the game. So an alternate win condition, which is nice. Um, it almost never happens because um, your opponent just decides not to play battle cards. But um, very important piece just to keep your defenses up. Um, and to get that out, um, we have a couple ways. Um, we have Whis Pre-Fight Preparations. Um, that has Empower Green 3 so we can carry over markers. Um, auto, if this card had 3s or more markers on it, um, your opponent uh, discards a card. So get a little bit of hand control, which is nice. And then the plus 1 will fetch the field card from the deck. Um, so easy way to get it out, turn 1 with this. And then we have another way to get it um, out is Referee, introducing the fighters. Um, Essentially the way this works is you'll tap one, send this to activate main, send this to drop area. You can choose one. Um, you can either activate the nameless planet or um, you reveal your opponent's hand and then you'll play a battle card with the energy cost of three or less. Um, so this has a couple of um, couple of good interactions. Um, this will get you your field card if you don't have it turn one. Um, or if your opponent's just deciding not to play battle cards, you'll get to peek their hand and then play something for them. So a lot of times it'll be a little weenie, so your battle cards will usually swing over them. So um, it's just an engine piece to get cards under the planet, so uh, necessary. Now for the two drops that we play, um, kind of have to play them if both four of. Um, we have SS Vegeta, Battle of Universe 6. Um, permanent, this card during your turn will have 10,000 power and can attack uh, cards in active mode, uh, not ignoring barrier, uh, without barrier. So you can't swing at barrier battle cards, but you are a 15k attacker swinging at stuff. Um, and then permanent, if your opponent has no battle cards in play, this will gain double strike. So if your opponent decides not to play cards, um, you'll be able to swing at their leader and add some really good pressure to them. And then auto, um, when this card's KO'd, you'll draw a card for a green energy, and then you'll play a three cost um, universe seven card from your hand. So um, you'll activate the planet to get this card. Um, KO'd, so you'll be able to get your effects off with that. Um, it's it's okay. Um, the next one we use is for the Piccolo to Battle Universe 6. Um, has a similar effect, but in this case, instead of it having double strike if there's no battle cards on board, this game's critical. So this is a better card to swing at your opponent's lead, um, just to deny your opponent resources to keep their hand low. And it has the same effect if you KO it, um, you'll draw a card and then play a U7 um, from your hand. And so the target, the main target we have for the U7 uh, for the three drop is Goku Battle Universe Six, um, Double Strike inherently 20k. Um, this card also attack cards in active mode, not um, without barrier. So another big piece to attack at your bonus battle cards. Um, and then this has a permanent. There's no battle cards. This will gain plus 5,000 in crit. So 25 double double strike crit to lead. Always going to be good. Your opponent will have to deal with this one way or another. Um, and then when this card is played by a skill, you draw a card. So if you use the skill from one of your two drops to play this guy, you'll draw two cards. So um, really good value off this. And then we have another three drop that we can play. 
um, the SSB Vegeta Kingdom, Lost Kingdom's Pride. Um, this one's not preferable to go into because you don't really get that many effects compared to the Goku, but still a target to pick, so it's not bad. Um, dual attack, um, this has a two cost combo for 10k, but if your leader card's green um, at the end of the battle, if you have three or more energy in the battle, you can play this card, so guaranteed to play this um, if you combo with it, so um, a pretty good piece. And then once per turn, this card attacks and KOs an opponent's battle card, um, your opponent discards a card from their hand. So pair this with the lead auto spirit boost, they're discarding two if you KO a battle card, so you get some pretty good hand control if they decide to play cards. So. And then one of the main, one of the biggest floodgates we have um, is hit assassin strike, um, dual attack barrier, um, auto for two green. If you're when you combo with this card um, and your battle card KOs the battle card, you get to play this from hand or play this from the combo area. So. Um, you get a 20k dual attack barrier, then the auto limit is the best part of the card. Um, if the card's in rest mode and your opponent decides to attack, they can do one of two things. They can pitch two cards from their hand, or their attack is negated and they cannot attack for the turn. So if their cards are pretty low in hand, um, they're going to have to really think about if they want to push or not. Um, this is just a really good piece just to stop your opponent from attacking. So. Um, Tapping four for this even still is not bad, um, just to get that floodgate effect off, because you're essentially it's just a baby hatch, <laughs> um, a dual attacking baby hatch at that point, um, or you're going to get cards out of their hand. And then for super combo choice, we had defending Father Paragus. Um, it's probably the best green super combo, I think. Um, you're drawing two and then warping one. Um, your life's going to be at four, so this is going to be live turn one, no matter whose turn it is. So uh, this is the super combo we pick. And now for um, second unison, we have King Vegeta, um, Evasion's Command. Um, this is a really good unison to swap into once you get the Whis on board um, and, do, and getting your field out. Um, you don't really worry about the counterattack. You're not really going to, doesn't really matter. Um, and the permanent, you're not running any um, great ape cards, so it doesn't matter either. Um, the biggest thing is you're going to do the plus one. Um, you can either choose one, you choose one card from your opponent's hand, discard it, or you pick one of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier, and uh, send it to the drop area. So um, the ignoring barrier is the biggest part. So a lot of times opponents will play a barrier card thinking it's safe. You play this, the barrier will say no, and that card will go away. Um, and then if your opponent decides not to play anything, you'll just rip cards out of their hand. Um, and it'll start with three markers on it. So you plus one will be at four, 19K. It'll be really hard for your opponent to clear it um, in the later stages of the game. Um, and then it does have the activate main to remove markers um, and KO battle cards. You don't really have to worry about that because a lot of times your opponent's not going to float the board anyway with the deck you're playing. But just the hand control pressure and removing cards is super good. So that's why we play that. And now for uh, the green stuff, of course we're going to run three dormant. Um, four would be pretty good um, since you're running a one cost unison, so you may want to consider putting four. I like it at three. Um, you draw enough to where you see it, so um, it's just a good stopping in your opponent's turn. Um, from attacks and then we have three charismatic villains um, again you could run this out of four since you have a one cost unison um, this will just be another way to KO battle cards but the thing about this though is you want to if your opponent's going to play a battle card you want to use your your battle cards to, to KO them instead of using this so that's why I run it at three because you it's only really good if your opponent decides to drop a bomb or against black uh, where you don't really have the option to KO cards or swing um, over them so this is just a good backup card so that's why I have it at three and now for hand control um, for Rebrian, um, you're not really using your energy for much um, since you're playing your two drops for free and then you're only tapping one to go into the three drops so this is just a really easy piece to throw into there um, 5k combo so if your opponent decides to combo up you'll get out of the attack and then just your, make your opponent pitch cards from hand so and then another big floodgate we have is Majin Buu and Adulterated Malice um, this is another um, baby hatch style card um, you'll counter attack for two drop a card from your hand and then for the rest of the turn if your opponent wants to swing you're gonna they're gonna have to pitch two from hand so if your opponent's hands low in the later games of the turn they're just not gonna be able to attack um, so this is really good at a three of just because it costs two energy um, and once you see it in the late game it just stops turns then another really good um, interaction piece is Cell's Earth Destroying Kamehameha. Um, activate battle if you're, all your energy is green. Um, you'll pick a card from your opponent's hand, discard it, and you gain plus 15,000 power for the turn. Um, re you're really better off using these defensively, because um, like I said, your energy's not used more on your turn. Um, so it's really good just to stop an opponent's attack. If they want to go tall with something, you'll block it, um, then pitch a card from their hand. And since you're picking, um, you're able to snipe some pretty good cards. I've had a lot of success with this card. And, uh, we run two homicidal clones. Um, 
it's just your token blocker um, negate. Um, I run it at a two of just because you're able to see it. You're, it's live turn one since you're starting at four life. Um, but the problem is once you're at four life, it's really hard to justify using this card um, in the later games, especially when, since your life is so low. So we only run it at a two of. Um, but this is a really kind of self good self awakener too. So if your opponent decides to just swing like once per turn, you'll be able to go down to three. So. Then Seeker Rare Choice, we have the Wicked Saiyans. Um, probably the best green Seeker Rare right now, um, just because it's a 40k dual attacker, and then if your opponent doesn't have four to tap, they're going to drop two from hand. Um, I really like this card. It's, I've had a lot of success with this card. Just being able to pitch two on your opponent's turn, um, it's really good, and it's a free 10k combo, so it's just a really good protective piece too. So that's the one we picked. Awesome. And what that means, I think, for tuning in. Keep on those buttons down below. And... This comment section, I just completely blanked on that. That's weird. Uh, yeah, read your cards, know your plays, and fluff out.